Hi, in this video for ASP.NET Web Development, we're going to include a nav bar in our application. As you can see from the pictures that are presented here, a nav bar will show us some ways to get around our website. And since we're choosing the bootstrap version of the nav bar, it's going to be a responsive item which will flex according to the size of our web page. Here is the current sorry state of our application. If I want to go to a route, I have to put in the actual test word in the URL, and then I can get to my site. Well, no user's ever going to think of that, so that's why we need a nav bar. To get a nav bar for a site, I'm going to the Bootstrap website, which is at getbootstrap.com. In a previous video, we installed Bootstrap in our website. So I want to find out where the, where the nav bars are. So I'm going to click the link called Documentation, choose Components, and then find nav bar most of the way down. And here we go. So the way that Bootstrap components work is usually you find an example on this website here and then copy it. So you can see right away there is an example of a nav bar shown here. And the code is right below it. So look what we can have. We can have drop-down links, we can have regular static links and a search bar. If you don't like any of that, you can go and find other versions. So there are nav bars without the drop-down links. Uh, they probably have at least five or six or maybe ten different versions and different color schemes. So pick the one you like and then we will go with the, uh, with the example. So for my example, I'm going to pick the first one that was presented on the list that has all of the components included, including the search bar and the gray background. So I can either just click copy or highlight the entire section and copy it. Now I'm coming back into my website and I'm looking for to put this in the header of my page. So where is the header? Let's go into the header and it says here we are welcoming the user to our activity. So let's just go ahead and put the uh, whole section of code right above the welcome. And now I have a nav bar. Is it that easy? Let's try it. Let's save it and run the app. So you can see I've run the app and I'm cha I've changed the URL to test. So now I have a nav bar at the top of the screen. You can see that I have the drop down menus. I have a search box. However, it doesn't do anything. And if I click on these links, they don't go anywhere. But at least I have the code in there, and so the nav bar in the gray has been set up. Now to show that this is flexible, I'm going to collapse the entire thing, and you can see that the nav bar now turns into a drop-down menu. Some people call this the hamburger icon because it has three lines that look like a Big Mac. And so now the nav bar works well on a mobile phone. So the flexibility allows your uh, site to be responsive. Now as we build our site, we would change these links to actually lead somewhere. Right now our, our website really only has one page, so the nav bar is uh, just for looks right now. We will make one modification, however. The word nav bar is not the name of my site. I'm going to go ahead and go into the code and change the word nav bar. So I'm back here into the code for our nav bar, into the header file. And so you can see that the code that we're working with has the nav uh, tag in it, it has these bootstrap specific things so that they are the color schemes and the size of my nav bar. However, right here is an item called the uh, a link and it says nav bar. So I'm going to change the text to something that would be customized to me. And I'm going to leave the rest alone, but let's go ahead and run it again. So now you can see that I have the new version running and my wonderful site, the title is now listed here in the top instead of navbar. If you wanted to change any of the links in the uh, items, you can find them easily. They're all in the A tags. So here is a drop down item. Anytime you see the word ref, href, this is the URL to the page that you are trying to get to. So you can change the text here to say this would be like my pictures. And if you had a route that was programmed, you could say something like this. You could say PIX. Obviously, I don't have a PIX uh, route nor controller defined yet, so this is going to lead to a broken link. 
So if I wanted to add a messages page, I would put in the word messages here and a pathway to messages. So this, this too will be a broken link, but it shows you how it would work if we wanted to program uh, an href. So let's run the site and let's check the changes that I just made. So in the drop-down section, you can see I have pictures and messages. So let's try messages. You can see that it's going to the messages area, but that actually doesn't exist yet. Let's see what the pictures does. It changes it to pics. So my routes and my controllers apparently are able to pick that up, but uh, we have no page actually that shows pictures. So in summary, we've put a nav bar onto our site and I've only picked one version. So go ahead and experiment with some of the other ones that you see here at the Bootstrap website. So different color schemes, you simply change them by adding these items instead of nav bar light or nav bar dark, you put those in there. The background can be BG dark, BG primary, or else you can have your own custom color. So there's lots of flexibility in making your nav bar in work, work with Bootstrap. In the next video, I'm going to offer you a challenge to change from our table view to a grid view as you see pictured here. So we'll see you soon.